So I never thought to myself I would ever need a fancy luxury BMW type car, but I needed to rent one today and I got a fancy BMW 530D. So let's just take a look at it today and give this car a review. This is the trunk right here. Quite a bit of space in the trunk there. Now let's close that sucker up. That's got the automatic trunk closing as you see there. That's a 530D. Now let's go around the side. Pretty sleek looking car here. All right, so that is the car right there. Let's go inside. So of course everybody knows what the BMW looks like outside, but how is it inside? Now this is what they call the luxury line, as you can see there. Really, really nice. And I'm coming from a Hyundai. So of course, <laughs> this for me is quite a difference. So we're gonna go over the interior. We're gonna have a look at the features at the different HMI displays. Talk about driving experience and what it's like to drive a fancy 65,000 euro BMW. So if we just have a look here at the steering wheel first, it's made with this nice kind of material. It's easy to grip. You've got grips up here and these kind of stitching here. I don't know if that's real or fake stitching, but um, it's great for gripping my hand. Just fits in there perfect. Now like to that. start the car, I was kind of confused how to do that. I mean, starting it is easy. Just press the button like that. And then, but as far as getting, as far as getting into gear, you have, oh, look at that. <laughs> the wheel goes down. I don't know if you saw that, but the wheel actually moves down into place. So that was the first strange thing for me. It's pretty cool. And if you want to get into gear, by the way, what you got to do is press that button in there and then go down to get into gear. And that's going to put you into drive so that you can go, you can see the drive right there. Otherwise, just hit the P button right here and that's going to put it into park. So anyway, the first thing that I did is I had to adjust the seat because the seat wasn't adjusted for me in this rental car and already I was a bit overwhelmed. There's so many seat settings. Take a look at all those buttons, uh, switches down there. So what we've got going on is if you want to, and it's gonna show you on the screen, if you wanna move it like that, you can, you can tip it, you can hear the servo motors. Okay, you can tip it forward and backward. Let's see if I can show you that. So forward and backward. And then you've got also for the next one, you've got different lumbars. Let's see, where's the lumbar? There we go. So that's pushing the lumbar in, that's pulling it back out. So that's actually kind of comfy. What I wanted to do was I wanted to move the seat forward. So just have to press that button down there and that moves the seat forward and back. That's really what I was looking for. And then you got even more here. Take a look at this. This one right here moves that front part in and out. Can you believe that? What the heck? So if you're a bigger person or a smaller person, you can adjust the seat accordingly. You can also save the settings here. You can save one, two, whatever. So you got two different drivers, then that's gonna save that for you. Pretty nice. So we got the seat set up. We got the mirrors set up, the rear view as well. Yeah, now we can get driving actually. But before we do that, let's take a look here at the HMI. You got one big one there. I got pretty big man hands and you can see it's actually just about, would be about two of my man hands. Um, that's the size of the display. And same thing for this one here. Nice, big, juicy display. And don't mind this stuff up here. That flash is just in, in the uh, video that doesn't flash in real life. Same thing with that display right up there. Can you see it? Yeah, um, that right there is kind of like a hologram that is displayed onto the windshield so that you can see how fast you're going, what the speed limit is, where to go next. So they have like directions and stuff for you to see from the navigation, pretty nice. But okay, this HMI is kind of nuts. So there's so much on there to do. You can have a look at different media, Spotify, Bluetooth devices, mobile. I usually connect my phone. Um, and then if we look here at the car, there's car settings too. So if we wanna go to the car settings, we can do that. You've got all these different things that you can adjust for your different accessibility. Unlock at the end of journey, switch off after door opening, full mirrors in when locked, 
automatic roof closing, all of those things. There is so much that you can set up. And what's really cool is take a look at this. Look at this interior. Can you see that light? There's a green kind of like thin light there. An LED in the back too, fancy. And you can even change the color on that. So favorite color is green. You can also change it to blue and take a look at that. Turns blue, very fancy. We could even put purple. Why not? Let's keep our purple for now. So there's all those fancy things that you can change. Seat comfort, okay. You've also got seat heating distribution, which you can adjust. Then what else have we got? Climate comfort. Okay, so you've also got your climate down here. You can set it up for yeah. the temperature that you want. That's in Celsius. I usually like it like about 22 or so. So that's for the driver's side and for the passenger side. Yeah, you can set all of that up here. And then, okay, key button assignment. Okay, so that is that is for this guy here. So what else do we have to look at there? There's really quite a bit. There's ex different experience modes that you can choose that you can choose from. There's driving profiles as well. I'm just gonna go back there. And they also have this navigation thing here as well. So you can hit that to go back. Owner's handbook, and you can also navigate from here. So you just switch that and that switches things as well. So you can look at the vehicle status, press enter. It's got a tire pressure monitor, engine oil level, check control messages service requirements oh my goodness let's see what kind of pressure we got 2.6 bar all right that is good so we've got so much going on here to check out and i'm sure i'm going to probably i'm going to miss some things but there's just so much information on this car it's really really quite interesting and then finally you got your media that's what we're looking at right there with the hmi it's it's pretty pretty sturdy this part is made out of plastic, um, but it's, I don't know, good condition. You've got this fascia here. This is like a really shiny kind of plastic. The vents, I don't know, I would say the vents are normal. But again, everything else that you, that you touch here that looks like, I don't know, fabric, like with this stitching here, it does feel nice. It's not, it's sturdy. You can't really budge it. This right here is, is kind of a little bit spongy. That doesn't really hardly move, so that's that's nice and sturdy. The dash is nice. That's the uh, glove box right there. And then take a look at this. You've got a cell phone charger, and that's soft close here as well. Oh, just have to push it. Yep. If I push it in, it soft closes. That's pretty cool. And then look at this. You got a little button here, and that flips open this compartment, and it's even got a little light in there. So that's nice. Here's where you got your center console. You can close that sucker back up. There's just so many details to take a look at in here. Here we've got some interior lighting. You can turn that on. It dims on, dims off. You can turn them both on at the same time. And um, yeah, here's the door and here is the armrest. The armrest is nice and comfy. That's pretty plush as well as the handle. The handle is nice too. I got the lights set to automatic right there, which is cool. And that reminds me, it's also got automatic windshield wipers. So when it starts to drizzle a little bit, then the windshield wipers come on automatically. Also when driving, the car is, is very quiet as far as tire noise is concerned. Wind noise is a little bit higher than what I was expecting considering how fancy the car is, but it drives really nice, super fast, like compared to my Hyundai, it's very fast and it's got um, adaptive cruise control. So you can you can set up the assisted driving, which we've got right here. You set that up and it watches out for you on the screen. It will show you, in fact, the cars that are on the sides of you and it will speed up or slow down based on the traffic in front of you. And that's quite a crazy thing. I've never seen that before myself. So yeah, adaptive cruise control, with the assisted driving mode. And it's got settings here so you can adjust the volume here for your music. And what I have to say about the system is it's very good. The system has got, as it looks like, tweeters right here. There might be a, a tweeter in there as well. And so it sounds nice and spacious. And also it's got pretty good bass, more than I was expecting. Almost sounds like you have a little, maybe six and a half or eight inch woofer hidden somewhere, or really nice six by nines. But the system is really good, makes it fun to drive. And yes, you can adjust the settings here. 
um, for your music as well as here on the screen. All in all, very fun car to drive, a ton of details to check out, and uh, it's got a lot of power. Can make it about a thousand kilometers on a tank of diesel gas. Nice range as well. The car is, uh, is fancy. You know, I never thought that I would consider buying such a car, to be honest, but if I would spend a lot of time on the road, I would consider it, especially because of the nice information that it displays up on the windshield. That does help you to make sure that you're staying within the speed limit and um, it flashes at you if you're over the speed limit. So it's kind of a nice warning for you and um, your eyes stay on the road. They don't have to go down to look here at this display. So it's nicer to look up there in regards to safety than to look down here. Yeah, pretty nice and spacious car. I'm six feet tall, by the way, and uh, I've got quite a bit of space down there for my feet. Um, driving is comfortable. I can put my arm here on this armrest. That's really comfy. Holding this thing is really nice and ergonomic. They've made that, I'm sure, just to fit perfect in your hand. Resting my arm over here, my elbow feels nice. Doesn't feel like it's going to get much fatigue. And yeah, gripping the steering wheel feels really nice. Let me just take a step into the back seat. This is important too. As I said, I'm six feet and, and even with that front seat set for me to drive, I've still got this much knee clearance. So that's better than what you can get when you're in an airplane in economy. And here you can see that purple accent really nicely. Nice armrest back here as well. And oh, look at that. You've even got controls back here as well for the climate control. So you can sit for the left back passenger and right back passenger as well. Um, there's a big hump here though. So you do have to consider that fitting the third person here. There's going to be almost nowhere for them to put their feet. One last thing is these, these head arrests are super duper comfy. I mean, it's like really nice just to sink your head into the back of those. Of course, no car review would be complete without a view of the motor. That is a BMW twin power turbo. I'm more of an electrical guy, so I can't say a whole lot about the motor except for that it's pretty fast. But you guys can tell me something about the motor, I'm sure. I don't even know if that's a V8 in there or a V6, but it is a diesel. You guys tell me, what do you think about that motor? Here's a quick look at the outside of the, the lights. I don't know what exactly kind of LEDs those are, but they look fancy. It says BMW Laser. These nice uh, rims here. here. Those are the tail lights. Again, 530D. Beautiful car. All right, guys, thanks very much for watching the video. I hope you like it. this introduction of the BMW 530D. Very nice car. I'm surprised it only costs between 60 and 65,000 euros, to be honest. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you next time.